Let's come to God in prayer. Let's pray. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are not only the one and true and the living God, but you're a God whose character is marked by holiness. We thank you that in you there is no sin, there is no wrong, there is no impurity. And we come this morning to look at this uh, topic of sanctification or holiness, and we need the, the guidance of your Holy Spirit to open your truth and help us to receive that truth as it's explained to us. So be with us this morning. Open your word to us, and may all of us who are tuning into this service this morning be touched, be challenged, be encouraged by what we hear, and all we ask is in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're going to have our Scripture reading, and uh, Charmian McKeown is going to read God's Word for us. Good morning. This morning's lesson is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 to 21. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Be self-controlled. Set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because... I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each man's work impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him. And so your faith and hope are in God. Here endeth the lesson. Now, Alan Gamble is going to talk to the boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls and mums and dads and everyone else who is listening this morning to our service. I want to bid you a very warm welcome and I'm glad that you're able to join with us. This, uh, uh, we're enjoying the lovely weather here at home, but it's, it's been a funny, funny year, hasn't it, with the virus and everything. Everything's a lot different from what it has been. I'm sure, boys and girls, you're missing your friends at school. Some of you haven't been there since Easter, and things are a lot different from what they have been. <clears throat> Some of you are looking forward to getting back to school. Some of you may not. Or some of you, maybe your parents are maybe glad to see you going back to school, but we're all different. We all have all di uh, different ideas. God made us all unique, and we, we're all different in his, in his eyes, although he made us in his own image. Today I wanted to show you some photographs of different people. <clears throat> I'll start with this one here. <clears throat> Last year, we, uh, you can see it there, we were in South Africa. And these are all di different people, all gathered together. And they have one thing in common. They all come from different backgrounds, different, different jobs. And the one thing they have in common, they're all on holiday. They're all enjoy enjoying a holiday together. This, this was taken in Cape Town, in South Africa last March. Here I have another photograph of a different group of people. You may know most of them. They, if you look closely at them, you'll see that that they're all, all different, but they all come from they all have one thing in common. We were that was a few years ago when we were down at the Orange Heritage uh, building in Belfast. 
and we had an enjoyable night that night. But they're all, everyone's different, but the one thing they had in common, they're all members of Moyer Presbyterian Church. Here's another photograph of different people. I'll peep around the corner here. <clears throat> now this was taken down at the National Stadium in Windsor. And you'll see, you've recognised most of them there. They're all, they're all different, but the one thing they have in common, they're all football supporters. And they had an enjoyable day down there. <clears throat> Here's another photograph, same place, different people. You'll see one of them there, he's actually giving an interview at the minute. He's giving a press conference, Mr Gilpin. And there's one or two sitting beside him, giving him a bit of hackling, but he, he's up for it, he can handle it. <clears throat> Here's another photograph, <clears throat> different people. Now these people are special. Why are they special? If you, there's, they are su still supporters, but if you look in the background, it's Old Trafford. Yes, Old Trafford, the home of Manchester United. That's why these people are special. And this is my last photograph here. I'll just show it to you here. And there's six people here at the back of it. And they are all different. They're, each one of them is, is, diff is different. And I'll shoot, if we start with this one here, this is the good looking one. This is myself. And then if you go to the other extreme, you have Raymond here, who is a retired gentleman farmer. And then you have William, who is the working farmer. Then you have Norman, who is a school teacher. Then you have Muriel, who works in Northern Golf Club. And then you have the youngest of all, Robin, the tallest one, who works in IT down in Belfast. Now, they're everyone different, but what have they in common? What would you think they have in common? Some may know, some may not. They're all brothers and a sister. They all come from one family. They, 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 were, they have the same parents, the same father and mother. Now, I want, I want to speak to you about being different. God made us all different, yet we're unique. But like the pictures, even though we are all different, we can still share and enjoy some experience and have something in common. What do you think that would be? <clears throat> well, that is to ask Jesus into our hearts. And if, if we ask him into our hearts, then we will always be there to help us and guide us and keep us safe. And if we do that, then just like the family photo, we become brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, and we will be part of God's family. Mr. Gilpin will speak to us later on about sanctification. Now that's a very big word, so it is sanctification. But he'll explain to you better than I can do it. But it really means to be different, to be separate, to be set apart, to be part of God's family, and to be holy so that he can use us for his good on one day and then we can go to be with him in heaven. We, 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 will be, we can be his ambassadors here while we are on earth and we, we can show the difference of who we are and what we are. Let us all come together now and pray. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning and we ask that you bless all the children and keep them safe and guard and direct them and, and as they go back to school. Keep, we know these are trying times and some might find it difficult, but we ask, Lord, that you take them and look after them and keep them safe. We ask that you bring, that they may ask Jesus into their heart early in lives so they can be different and one day they can go to be with him in heaven. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening. Our kids' praise this morning is, Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. So we're going to continue to worship God as we sing the children's hymn.